We have here Carol DiIorio, a, a very famous voice in New York City with the Win Win Radio. Ten Wins, Ten Ten Wins, wins Radio. And um, I have to ask, I have to tell you, I hear your voice every day. You are my companion every time I am in the car. That's good. That's how we like it. <laughs> I love doing it. And um, radio, in many ways, it's very personal because. Really, you're only talking to one person at a time, the one person in his car driving. So you actually make an effort to, as if you're talking to one person. Absolutely, you have to, to make it really personal and to have the stories have meaning for people. So you must enjoy your, your job, I imagine. I love, I love it. I get to meet a variety of people, a variety of situations, some tragic, some very happy and uplifting, and it's a, it's a nice mix. I imagine today we are interviewing you when you probably interview most of the people all around the city right. for a long time. The microphone. <laughs> but either way, I love microphones. You I like love what microphone. I do. I love it. I love it. It's, uh, it's thrilling. Okay, now I, I, uh, I, I know that you are being honored today. What for? For being, I believe, an Italian-American who has a positive image and who presents the Italian-American community at large as a wonderful cultural ethnic group that has so much to offer. But also because of the media, you are a, 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 a voice in our community so that everybody knows you, right? Exactly, so. exactly. And what I love to see is when Italians and Italian-Americans come together and become a, a strong voice for change. You know, and and like a lot of other ethnic and cultural groups, Italians need to use the media to get their message. We are learning, we are learning. And I know you learned a long time ago, or some time ago, anyway. Well, anyway, I want to thank you very much. Thank and you so uh, much. Our gr congratulations thank for the you premium. Very much. Ladies and gentlemen, radio is amazing. And I know that all of you love radio. And when we love radio, we must love people who are so distinguished in this work. Because the next person who's coming up here now, you have heard us so many times. She has been here, there, and everywhere. And she knows that. Uh, one navigation system, you need to go somewhere, you want to know anything in the tri-state area, you just call her. She's been everywhere. She's been reporting all kinds of story, meeting all kinds of people. I, I mean, I could just, I would love just to stay with her for a week. She'd probably give me so, many, so much information that uh, I'll be just flying high. She's an amazing, amazing lady who works for an amazing, amazing radio. I love this slogan. You give us 22 minutes, we'll give you the world. This was amazing. When I heard it the first time, I said, what? What? What do you want more? And uh, all the news, all the time. They're always there. Number one news radio in New York City and the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, 1010 Winds News Radio. Uh, uh, Nos, bellissima, come up here. Dor uh, Carol Dioria, who's, uh, where did I put my nose? She's amazing, amazing, amazing. She's the general assignment reporter and anchor for 1010 News Radio, Carol Dioria. What a pleasure, what a pleasure to welcome you here. It's an honor and it's a pleasure. Thank you so much. One more, one more. Un grande applauso. Okay, let's make it official now. Special award in media and communication presented to Carol Doria for your contributions to news, journalism, and the promotion of multicultural events, especially Italian American affairs. Ida Corvino Militich, President, April 28, 2013, New York. Congratulations. I love you, baby. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. It is so wonderful to be here. It is very special for me to be with Italians and Italian Americans who present a positive image of who we are. You know, every day when I go out and I do stories, I meet countless groups, organizations, different ethnic groups, and in the media, we know Italians and Italian-Americans don't always have a positive image. So it's so important for me to be here. 
And it is so important for Italians and Italian Americans to reach out to the media, whether it's radio or television, and to push your agendas as much as you possibly can. Because we need a positive image. And you know, the first wave of Italians who came over, the, the first wave was a long time ago, late 1800s, early 1900s. And now some people take us for granted. Some Italian Americans have really lost their ethnicity and their heritage. So it's incumbent upon those of us who find it important and very special in our lives to keep pushing forward. And so um, I thank you for this award. Congratulations to the other honorees. And for Italian Americans, I want you all to stay as close and as tight and band together as much as you possibly can to push forward your agenda because that's how it works in the media. Thank you. You have to say, you have to say what I always love to hear every day. You have to say, I'm sorry, you have to do it. Come on, come on, you have to do it. <laughs> Carol Dioria, 1010 wins in Carl Place.